Hey everyone, Norman here with the McWayne Science Center, back again with another SciSpark. What do neon signs and the process of finding out what stars are made of have in common? And why am I wearing these silly glasses? Find out today as I shed light on a phenomenon known as electrical gas emission. Have you ever been in awe of those pretty neon signs outside of stores and other businesses? Well, have you ever taken the time to think about where all those different colored lights come from? Well, I got us covered. I have my own miniature neon signs. Inside of this seemingly empty glass tube is a gas called neon, hence the name neon signs. Neon is a colorless, odorless gas with no taste and it doesn't react with anything. But as soon as an electrical current is applied to the tube, it begins to glow bright orange. Turns out, when you apply an electric current to certain gases, the electrons inside of their atoms get pretty excited. As the electrons calm back down, they release all of that extra energy in the form of light. The electrons in neon atoms produce a reddish orange light, which actually means that it has pretty low energy. Despite the name, neon signs use a whole bunch of other gases besides neon, like helium. The electrons in different gases get excited to different energy levels when inspired by an electric current. So they release different levels of energy in the form of light when they calm down. To us, this would manifest as a different color, whereas the neon was a reddish orange. The helium, when it is applied to the electrical tube, will give us a yellow tinted pink. And if I add another apparatus with a mercury tube, we get a deep bluish violet. Although most of the color in the mercury light is emitted in the ultraviolet range, so we can't see it. So what was that I said about stars and silly glasses earlier? Well, two things. First, the light made by the electrons of different gases is actually spread out across a spectrum of different colored emissions. We just happen to see the average color when we look at the tube. Second, every element makes a unique set of colors when its electrons are excited. Even solid metals produce colored light, though we often get those emissions by burning them. But that's a story for another size spark. Stars are just giant balls of hot gases, mostly hydrogen and helium. How do we know this? Well, the forces at work inside of a star are so powerful that the electrons in their gases are constantly getting excited and emitting energy in the form of light. When we use special equipment here on Earth, we can separate out those exact colors and compare them to the known emission signatures of the gases here on Earth and find out exactly which elements they're made of. I don't have all that fancy equipment, but these prism glasses here will allow us to do something similar. Just like a prism, separates light into the different colors that make it up, these prism glasses will allow us to see the different colors inside of the gas too. Let's try it out. First, I want us to see what happens when we look at neon through the glasses. Now, you might see a bunch of different lights everywhere, but I want you to notice the different colors in a line Compare that to the actual signature of neon. The same can be said for helium, although you might notice that it has a completely different look to it. And that's because helium has a completely different signature. All right, now there's one last thing I wanna show you. Neon lights aren't just great for advertising. They can also be used to act out iconic scenes from sci-fi films. With just a little neon in this tube, and a little mercury and argon in this tube, and an electric current, we can get some pretty awesome props. <laughs> all right, I could do that all day, but that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching today's SciSpark. If you liked what you saw, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna see more about the different colors of light emitted by different materials, be sure to check out our glowing pickle video. Until next time.